Good afternoon and happy holidays. Uh, this is Christmas Eve, by the way, when I'm doing this, in case you're watching it some other time of the year. I wonder if some people it's already Christmas and this is LA time, so it's now 4 p.m., a little bit earlier than usual because I'm gonna be busy at 5 p.m., a normal time. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I will tell you at the back end when you can watch me normally. <laughs> Today's an exception. Um, and also um, my normal format. So today what I'm gonna share actually is um, holiday wishes. Now I'm gonna throw out some for you as an invitation, not a requirement, but an invitation. And I would like to, I would, I would invite you to ponder for yourself what you really wish. Maybe you've been so stressed out you haven't thought about it yet. So maybe this will help you get started. Maybe it'll be a, a light to your touch paper so you can blow up some great ideas. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I want to do a quick talk today because it is Christmas Eve. So again, happy holidays. I, I do say Merry Crimble in my title because um, Merry Crimble is one of my favorite little Christmas things actually. It's attributed to John Lennon who, quote, who created it apparently back in the 60s. And Merry Crimble just sounds like, what? It just is fun to say. Anyway, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all that sort of stuff that's, well, I'm dropping out of myself. Happy Hanukkah for those who already celebrated, I, I celebrated on Sunday. Um, so my question or my invitation or my um, suggestion, that's the word looking for, for you this holiday season. So what I wish for you, and this is all, there is all the standard stuff for the holidays, you know, joy and peace and all this sort of stuff, but what I wish for you really is a few things. I wish for you that you have clarity about your life. Clarity about how magnificent you are and clarity about where you want to be in life because it's up to you to decide that. But a lot of us, and I did myself for a long time, so I'm being transparent here, spent a lot of my, a lot of my time, I will speak for myself directly. <laughs> That's the way, the way things go. By the way, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, they're never scripted or planned, just a title that comes out. So this is where it's going to go, where it's going to go. So for myself, I know a lot of my life, I was always chasing after something. I was always thinking I wasn't good enough. I was always also in a place where I didn't think I could have what I wanted because of these other situations, comparisons and other stuff like that. This may be resonating for you too. What I wish for you and it's what I'm still working on but I'm getting better at is not to compare myself, not to compare yourself with other people, myself, yourself, anybody, that you are a magnificent person, that what you're about to do and what you may be doing in 2020 may just blow the doors off your previous existence and experience. What I wish for you is for you to see just how magnificent you are, as I said. But what that means is your life is going to change. <laughs> That's why I'm inviting you versus telling you should do this. When you start to discover, excuse me, when you start to own your magnificence, to realize it, to claim it, to express it, to enjoy it, you might start discovering that life doesn't work the way it did before. You might start discovering, especially when you really embody this, that people will treat you differently. If you've been around people like I've certainly been in the past where being um, respected, being appreciated, being honored was a rarity. In fact, in my early childhood, no, none of that was showing up at all. So I know definitely how that feels to be in a place where that doesn't happen. I also have a contrast now of seeing a lot of people, and it's not to, not to shoot my own horn, but I have the experience of where I have been honored and respected and celebrated. It's humbling, to be clear, it's not an ego thing, but it's also something that I really clearly get that when I step into my truth, when I step into my magnificence, when I step into my mastery, when I teach from that place, life responds accordingly. So I'm inviting that for you too, that if you are in fact in a place where you think you don't know where to go yet, go within. And I mean that from the point of view of seeing within the light that's been shining brightly all this time that maybe you didn't see clearly before. Yes, this is, this is that blend of the Festival of Lights from Hanukkah, and it's also the Christmas lights I just, I just posted a, um, on my wall earlier on Facebook. Um, some shots from London of the holiday season and the lights and festivities and it was quite quite amazing to watch so I'm letting you know that all that light out there that's festival lights and Christmas lights it's in you too it may not be a LED light maybe something deeper than that but what I'm inviting you to look at is where is it that you can actually let your light shine outward where is it you can be more in service to yourself to life to life to people around you in a way that is uplifting and inspirational because it comes from your heart my wish for you is that you get that, you understand that, <clears throat> excuse me, and that you honor that. I also wish that you take on some things, and I, and I did say in my title, by the way, what do you wish for yourself? Because these are invitations that I'm throwing out for you, but I'm asking you to consider for yourself, what do you wish for yourself this holiday season? Maybe you want to wish to go celebrate with family, maybe you couldn't get there, or maybe you are there, and maybe you wish for something different. <laughs> some people have that, I know, just to be clear. I'm not saying you or everyone has a perfect family, 
far from it. But I'm aware that you can wish for what you want, to wish for yourself, to hold for yourself, and in fact to move towards that, starting right now, and through Christmas, and through the new year. And yes, I'm going to do a little marketing in the back end, so I'm warning you ahead of time, there will be a couple of things I'm going to suggest you might check out of mine, because I wish for myself that I get to share my message more deeply with people. So just so you know, it's coming. <laughs> so the thing I want to get to is the bottom line, is today being Christmas Eve, for a lot of people, there's a lot of trepidation, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of um, consideration about this time, because this is a very um, positive time, and it can be a very challenging time. Um, there are people who are right now trying to travel today, which is not an easy thing to do. So know that life isn't necessarily easy. But the thing is, it can be much easier when you start connecting back to yourself. As I said earlier, if you want to know what it is you really wish for, and we want to see where that light is, turn within. Meaning that you want to be guided by that's with what's within you. Something this past, past year I've been exploring and, and discovering more about is a thing called human design. A friend of mine turned me on to it. Actually, several friends of mine turned me on to it. And I've been looking into the human design to see what my design is basically and one of the things I've got clear about and I'll, I'll tell you if you go to uh, humandesignamerica.com you can do a free test and get your get your own chart from that but the, what I discovered one of the things I, did, I got clear about is my the authority within me comes from my emotions as in I have an emotional authority which means literally that I am guided by how I feel and up until recently I was starting to wonder about that stuff because early on that was never anything I was, I was like no no, no I've got to figure it out I've got to control it I've got to make it happen and what I've realized more and more in the last six months of this year has been how much my response to things is guided by my intuition coming from my feelings. So when I feel good, I will say yes to something. When I feel bad, I say no to something. It's like an inner barometer, which is something I'm really clear about. So when I talk about turning within, that's all the idea I'm talking about. I'm not saying, actually, I cannot say that your human design chart will make you have you have an emotional authority. Maybe yours is a different level. And I do recommend you check it out if you're interested in exploring more about your own personality type and what drives you, what fuels you, and what inspires you. Go to Human Design America and do the, do the, it's only putting your birthday and your location. Birthday, time, location, the three things they want. And that gives you back a chart. And it, then you become, <laughs> then you're at the starting line. The research, the study, the learning goes way on from there. And I can turn you on to more people who can help you with that. It's not my speciality. I'm just learning quite a bit about myself. And for me, what I'm clear about is, being guided by that inner, ra that inner, not so much radar, as in a guidance system, is appropriate, and I think we all have that within us in different ways, different shapes. So my wish for you, my big wish for you, is you tap into your inner guidance system, whatever that is for you, and you learn how to trust that more em emphatically and more easily, so that you can be guided in life the way you best want to go. Because the thing is that I can say, I wish for you the best in life, and you're gonna go, well, I don't know what that is. But if I wish for you to be guided by that inner confidence, that inner wisdom, that inner guidance, you'll be navigating the right places, the right directions, and things can happen for you, which might appear at first to be miraculous. But the truth is, when you do tap into that place, it's automatic. And for me, that's something I'm grateful for, is happening more and more in my life, definitely the last six months. So to summarize this entire little bow on it is, is the holidays. <laughs> I'm inviting you to consider for yourself what it is you're really grateful for. What it is that also that you wish for yourself, which might be more gratitude even, but also what you'd like to wish for yourself in the world, both in your life and out into the light, into the world itself. That's your homework assignment if you choose to take it on. Whilst you're busy singing Christmas carols and celebrating whatever you're doing tonight, um, I'm going to be at Agape celebrating with lots of people. It's going to be a fun musical event. Um, so I did mention at the earlier part, I was going to drop in some marketing pieces, so I, I've got to do it, because what I wish for myself is to be able to share my work in a deeper way, and a wish for you is if you find, you find that what I'm offering matches what you want, you'll check it out and sign up for it. Simple as that, no pressure. But I will put two links in the comments, I've been putting in my comments for the last few days, because today's officially, hey Jane, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, what I do, what I put, what I, just stop me in my tracks, nicely done Jane, <laughs> thank you. Um, what I, What I'm, been talking about the last couple of days is two things. One is about starting 2020 the right way. Now, I'm not saying it is the only way, but I know it's the right way I recommend, which is it, which is my new uh, masterclass that starts in January called a BFF. And I'm not gonna tell you anything about it. You go check out the link, it'll be in the comments after I sign off. And the other thing is practicing self-love. As I mentioned, turning within and finding your own inner guidance system, and also turn on your own light to tune into your own light, turning within all that stuff. When you start to practice self-love, that becomes self-evident. That becomes automatic, and it becomes much, much easier. 
I have a self-love meditation. It's guided. It's two audio meditations and a written guidebook that will train, retrain your sensitivity to your own loving, so you become supportive of yourself. It's one of my favorite things because it's the thing that changes everything. That one switch, all the other switches turn on when you do that. So that being the comments too. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, usually, on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. Um, today's 4 p.m. because I'm going to be at Agape at 5 p.m. So normally it's 5 p.m. Pacific time. Tomorrow should be that time. I'm not sure. That's Christmas Day and I've got some plans brewing. We'll see what happens. But usually, every day of the week, normal days, seven days a week, you can catch me live on my personal page on facebook.com slash Barry Selby, 5 p.m. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I have a bunch of the replays, not all of them, unfortunately, because Facebook's not like that, on my business page on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash barryselby.author. Um, that is, has about maybe 200 there. You can like my page. I wouldn't mind that, please. But I do have every single one of them safe carefully on my computer and also onto YouTube, so you can watch them there. And my YouTube, cha YouTube channel is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. You can watch every single one of them if you choose to, or at least search through by keywords and titles to find what you're looking for. Um, I will be hitting number th I'll be hitting Facebook Live number 1,000 sometime this year. Well, probably by March or April. Yeah, around that time. So I've got no idea what I'm going to do at that point, but it definitely is coming this year. So 2020 is going to be an interesting year. So I thank you for watching. As always, again, links will be in the comments for you to check out. And whatever you're doing today, tomorrow, over the holidays, Boxing Day, if you do Boxing Day, um, take care of yourself. That's my, my daily thing is like, please take care of yourself, especially during the holidays. So I wish you well. Have a great time playing, celebrating, eating, whatever you're doing. And uh, yes, only my neighbors. That's what I'm going to do. And also, by the way, if you want to put in the comments to you what you're going to, um, what your wish for yourself is, I welcome that too. So once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Um, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again then. Bye.